So I just figured I'd put another quick little update for a fix that seems like a lot of people have issues with on uh, these old IH combines and some of the earlier case ones. And I think even some case tractors use these as well. But this guy right here is your cab solenoid. So basically it's a continuous duty rated solenoid that powers most of the electrical. So um, here's the old one right here. And I don't even know if this is the actual one that's supposed to be in there because the, so I think it's been replaced before, but basically the bracket isn't how it, it even works with the, the screw holes. So you see that one's got top and bottom. And then you've got your control power comes in from the key switch and then power in from the battery power out. So if this one works, I don't know, just probably just some generic one. It's kind of common for these to go. If you look, you kind of tell that this thing got probably pretty hot and overheated and something internally was getting very flaky with it. So what was happening is this fall, I actually struggled with this thing to keep it running. And it seemed like just wiggling wires I thought was kind of the, it, the issue. But uh, once we got done, I kind of wanted to dig into it and the solenoid cleared up all the issues. So... The only thing that would work uh, all the time was power to the cutoff solenoid on the fuel pump and then um, the gauges. Other than that, um, the separator uh, feeder house control would not work. Um, unload auger, the lights, um, nothing was working. The radio was flaky in and out, the, the cab blower. Um, so most of everything runs through there besides that engine solenoid and the gauges. So if you do have issues with that, and you're not fighting ground problems, which you do want to check for ground stuff because, let's face it, um, you can see by the traps in here that, and all the chaff and stuff, which this is going to get vacuumed out, that this is kind of a common nice little nest area for the mice to get into. And you can see they just, they love anything like that's fibery cloth material. And, you know, the problem is that some of these wires kind of hang down and, Mice like to chew on this stuff. So, in fact, right here, the mice have gotten into it. I don't know if the camera picks it up. So this is the stuff to watch out for. It's just kind of inevitable with combines, but you really got to keep this stuff cleaned up. So this is going to have to get uh, repaired and cleaned up. So that's not an issue down the road. So anywhere where it kind of lays down and the mice like to get to it. And, of course, mice are so crafty they can get to anything, it seems. But... So just things to keep an eye on um, if it's not the ground, but um, the solenoids do seem to be a common issue. So you might want to start with that. It's about a $50 fix. Um, now these uh, these are it's some type of aftermarket one. Uh, the local Our local Case IH dealer carries plenty of them on stock. Um, so it's about 50 or 55 bucks or something like that, 50 bucks, I think. Um, there is also an updated one. Um, I think maybe you'll see it in some newer Magnum tractors, things like that. It's, um, it does have a, it's a, a four post solenoid. So you've got uh, on top of your two main lugs, you've got your 12 volt power in, and then you also have a dedicated, um, ground on it that would come off. So they kind of look like a square rectangle one. Um, you can do that too. Uh, I think that's kind of the part number that supersedes these. If you actually go in the case book. Um, but they are they are about double the price. They're about $100. And after talking to the case dealer, um, longevity-wise, it seems like these new aftermarket ones hold up pretty well anyways. And this one made it. This is an 80, 80, 1983 combine, so it's probably not the original one. It might have had another one in it before, but um, for the price of it, we'll see how long we can get out of this one. So just a quick update on that. Hopefully it, it um, might uh, help you fighting some of these issues. Um, I know it can be overwhelming with combines, um, especially as they're, you know, starting basically with, you know, the 14 series, the later ones got very electrified and, um, obviously one little thing can really mess with a lot of different controls and functions of the combine. So you want to keep good, clean grounds, check for mice damage, things like that. And again, this solenoid, you know, I, I think part of it is they're just always on, they get hot and any electrical device, you know, heat, it's going to break them down. So just something to keep an eye on, maybe keep a spare one on hand. So hopefully that helps.